So now we will be doing the path tracer for module 7. There are two path tracer here. You configure the HCPV4 and implement the HCPV4. First, we'll be doing this. Tracer configure the HCP. We have the addressing table for some of the devices like three routers, two PCs, then a server. Don't have internet. Okay. So the R2 is the chip assignment. Or G0 slash one. <coughs> okay, so objectives. So part one is configure router as a DHCP server. Part two is configure DHCP uh, relay in the server. Then configure a router as a DHCP client. And the last part is verify DHCP and connectivity. So we have this scenario. So a dedicated DHCP server is scalable and relatively easy to manage, but it can be costly to have on it every location in the network. So however, a Cisco router can be configured to provide DHCP services without the need for a dedicated server. So as the network technician for your company, you have been assigned the task of configuring a Cisco router as a DHCP server. So you are also required to configure the Edge router as the DHCP client so that it receives an IP address from the ISP network. So I think we will be using we will, we will be configuring these two as a, a DHCP client. So the instructions, so part one is configure a router as a DHCP server. So step one is configure the exclude IPv4 addresses. Okay, so addresses that have been statically assigned to device in the network that produce DHCP must be excluded from the DHCP pools. So because they, they, all, they already have the addresses so this avoids error associated with duplicate IP addresses. We need to exclude those addresses. So in this case, the IP address of R1 and R3, so LAN interface must be excluded from the CP. So in addition, nine other addresses are excluded for static assignment to other devices such as servers and device management interfaces. So letter A, configure R2 to exclude the first 10 addresses from R1. Show interface is brief. Show IP interface. So ten twenty. So for serial what? We can have the one eight two one six eight dot ten dot one. R three. This R three. Okay. This is for R1. So I need to face. I have here the addresses. Gigabit zero slash zero. 
Exclude the addresses from R1. Okay. <clears throat> from R2. Uh, IPT. IPTCP. Exclude the address. Only do that once exclude that. Then that one. So the lower address and then the upper address and the higher address that then that one. Five. Let me spell that. Five. So configure R2 to exclude the first 10 address from R3 lab. DHCP pool on R2 for the R1 LAN. So create a DHCP pool named R1, so router 1 LAN. Okay, so Steve. Then configure the DHCP pool to include the addresses that default gateway and the IP address and the DNS server. Default router 192.168.10. So this is the interface on the router 1. server so only do that one six eight uh, twenty dot two five four okay. so I think the the, the server for R T is also the same for okay. so we also uh, do that on then three R R three IP R3 LAN then IP DHCP pool so the network for R3 is 30 default router then the DNS server okay. now for the part 2 is configure the HCP relay so step 1 is configure R1 and R2 as the HCP relay agent so for the HCP clients to obtain an address from a server on a different LAN segment I think we will be uh, getting our IP address from the, the server, then the server. So the then server is from the other network. So different LAN segment. So the 
interface that the clients are attached to must include a helper address pointing to the DHCP server. So in this case, the host on the lens that are attached to R1 and R3 will access the host on the lens that are attached to R1 and R3 will access the DCP server that is configured on R2. Okay, the IP address sets of R2 serial interface that are attached to R1 and R3 are used as helper addresses. Okay, so this path here, so the DCP traffic from the host on the R1 and R3 lines will be forward to these addresses and forward and processed by the DHCP server that is configured on R2. So configure the help address for the LAN interface on R1. Okay, the interface G0 slash 0. <coughs> G0 slash 0 We will access this port G0 slash 0 From R1 And then helper address <coughs> 1.1.2 on the lands that are attached to R1 and if you will access that is going to R2 the IP address from R2 serial to uh, R1 and to use as the hand address okay. so interface is 0 slash 1 in global configuration mode so interface p0 slash 0 then ip helper address configure the helper address for the LAN interface on RT. Okay, still zero and then interface for R2 is then that to that to that to Then IP helper address is 10. <coughs> so, configure also. So, step two is configure host to receive IP addressing information from the HCP. Configure host PC1 and PC2 to receive their IP addresses from the HCP servers. So verify that the host have received their address from the correct HCP groups. Okay, it should be that 11, that 10, that 11. Okay. The default gate is the one, and then the server is okay. Then it should be that 30, that 11. Okay, 
next is configure router as DHCP client. So just as PC is able to receive an IPv4 address from the server, a router interface stability can be the same. So router R2 needs to configure to receive addressing from the ISP. So R2 gigabit 0 slash 1. Here we will be requesting some IP addresses from the internet or the ISP. <coughs> okay, so on Configure the gigabit ethernet slash zero, zero slash one interface on R2 to receive IP addressing from the HCP and activate the interface. So here is the commands, the interface zero slash one, IP addressing the HCP and now shut down. So we will be using the for fast forward time to speed up the process. So we show IP interface brief command to, to verify that R2 receive an IP address from the HCP. Okay. Interface G0 slash 1 IP address DHCP. Okay, now shut down. Then we will be so IP address so IP interface. Okay, uh, gigabit Ethernet is <coughs> unassigned. Yes, the cheap. Up. Okay. This bit of in the process. I think. Okay, we now have the IP address from the cheap from the ISP. So verify the CP bindings. So from R2, so IP DHCP binding. So what we have here, the hardware address. This, this. So I think this is the clients. So this is the IP address for PC1 and PC2 Pamatic <coughs> Configure configure uh, verify configuration so verify that PC1 can ping each other and all other devices So we just need to ping up PC2 Routing table default gateway and then it's the default gateway. So mac address table. What? Then how we have that? Okay. So mac address table. So mac address table. Okay. Then one. Ports. F zero slash one. Let's ping up the, the server. 
16 and I told her 28 and I told her 5 okay. <coughs> should be able to ping this one I already got the 100% check results okay. configure the PC1 R1, R2, R2, R2. that's it